Hi Georgie Burns here. First of all I'd like to wish you all a happy new year and hope 2019 is good to you and you get everything you wish for. Second I'd like to show you how I made this card. To make this card I used, it's all hand cut I'm afraid apart from the circle um, but the flowers and the leaves are hand cut. I'm changing the colour slightly in that I'm using Rich Raspberry. This one I use Blackberry Bliss. So you need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths folded in half and scored. You'll need two pieces of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. One for the inside and one for the front. <coughs> the paper, I'm using the same paper and it's from Frosted Florals and it's got a lovely sheen to it. And on the other side is the this. This is the way it's printed. It's not a floor, but that is the way it's printed. But I'm using this side and that goes on there and this is three and three quarters by five and a half. You also need a circle from the layering circles and this one measures I'm not having a clue because I can't see my oh hang on I can't find me ruler there it is I've got myself a new metal ruler and this one is two and five eighths across and you also need a length of ribbon and this is the one I've got that's closest to rich raspberry and that will just sit there but we'll chop it off afterwards right I have already cut out my flowers and the leaves but I shall show you what I've done. Sit that there. So you'll need a scrap of white cardstock and rich raspberry ink. Oh, I never told you the stamp sets we're using. Right, the first one we're using is incredibly like you. This is out of the occasions catalog and we're going to use this image here the little flower and for the sentiment we're using all that you are and we're going to use this thank you sentiment thank you for all that you are and all that you do so I've already mounted my stamps and with rich raspberry we shall I'll just do one even though you do need three. Stamp that off. Clean off my ink. As you can see my stamp is stained. We're using the red ink. But it's not ruined, it's just stained. Still works. Put that back. And then we will need some old olive, and I never got that out, so let me just grab my old olive ink. Alright, get rid of this. Right, with the old olive we're going to do the leaves. Now the leaves are a two-step stamp. And I've mounted both of them. What I'm going to do, I am actually going to do the darker bit first. So put that on. I'll do two. I won't come a mess. And then just... Oh. Clean that up. 
and then with the lighter one it just stamps lighter you don't need to stamp it off or nothing but you do need to try and line it up I tried doing it the other way round I don't know if you can see that but it just comes out lighter I tried doing the light first but it it's hard to see so it's easier to do it with the dark first I see how that's come up it's come up really nice so that's how I do that one I stamp the darker stamp first and then do the lighter one and then for the sentiment you grab your circle and your black ink and the sentiment now I have re-inked my black so this you want to stamp as near to the top as you can and that's that done then grab your snips oh let's cover this so I don't stick my hands in it The flower is so easy to cut out. All you do is follow it all the way round, she says. I haven't coloured it in. Alright, we do it after. After I've cut it out. I'm leaving a little tiny white border around the edges. flowers are flowers the leaves all I did was cut them out just follow in the leaf Try and make them you know so they're not just a blob of card give them a bit of shape that one's too close to cut in And then we have a leaf cut. I won't cut that one out. Right, to colour in the flower, all I did was got my um, aqua pen or brush. Just got it started, brushed off the 
uh, axis and then just went over you don't want your brush too wet my brush is a little bit wet that's all I done just drew the color off the ink that was already there and colored them in and then don't forget to clean your brush off and you just allow that to dry I won't use that one because it's still wet so now we can put this card together so what we'll do is glue the paper I've started another bottle I'll see how long it will last before I have to decanter it into another bottle be a fault I stick my pokey tool in it to unblock it instead of a pin, and I split the nozzle. Right, I just stuck that on there. Give it a bit of a border, and then we'll stick this. on the card base as soon as you put it on the card base it just brings out the darker flowers I'm not done nothing on the inside of this one I don't think I did let me just stick this in And then I'll have a look. Oh, I stamped a saying, thoughtful, kind, generous, that's you. But I haven't got that stamp set over here with me, so I'll do that afterwards. Now with this, I... We'll do all this first. So here's all my bits I've cut out. So what we're going to do is just stick the three flowers like that on there. And I think I've stuck one flat and two on dimensionals. So I'll bring the dimensionals over. That big one's yeah. I'll always stick to the other ones. So let's put two on dimensionals. keep oh, this top free of dimensionals so if I stick one there and one there yeah and then we also want dimensionals on this I'm going to use these bits up first. This tiny bit there. That's fine. Right. these on now so one of the flowers is flat and that's there 
and I need to put a flower, a leaf there. So this needs to glue down. And then But we need another leaf to come out the side of it. Before it dries. That's it. This one. Yeah, it's this one. We're going to sit up here. like that and then we just put leaves all around the outside I'm sure I did chop one off I think I had to cut one down. To get under here. And then one more this side. This all goes on there, but first we need to stick our piece of ribbon no, I don't want it now what I did was I glued a bit of ribbon. Hold it down for a little while. Take the backs off the dimensionals. And stuck it down like that, and then trim off the ribbon. Why is that sticky there? And there you have it, one of three leaves left over. Why have I got leaves left over? Did I put another one there? No, that would be just too much. Even a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'll 
I'll just stick this little bit in. There you have it. One pretty thank you card. In fact, it's my last thank you card for this past two weeks. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe and press the notification bell button and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.